good afternoon guys today is um tuesday <laughs> i'm like blanking right now i think it's like the sixth third fourth fifth yeah sixth seventh i'm sorry tuesday the seventh <laughs> um i meant to do like a lot more vlogging my recipes and whatnot but I don't know, every time I start cooking, it's like I start cooking, and I don't have, like, a tripod yet to just stand there and record, but, um, so it's just, I just get carried away, and I just cook, and that's it. <laughs> um, this morning, this morning for breakfast, I made an egg with, uh, this Ginny O turkey ham that my coworker actually gave me. She bought too many, and she said, you know, if I wanted to try it out, and I tried it, and it was very good. It was two net carbs for two ounces, and um, so I just weighed it out on my scale, got two ounces with the, it was an egg, and I had that for breakfast. I did some coffee with some heavy whipping cream and some uh, stevia. It held me over, well I ate about eight, no it was about 7.30, and it held me to really good until about um, one. And at one, I had some Brussels sprouts. I had leftover Brussels sprouts from yesterday. And um, I had a pork steak that my husband had made um, for the Super Bowl weekend. And then tonight, I'm going to go and make um, uh, fried chicken, but I'm going to crush up some pork rinds. I've done it before, and if you crush up the pork rinds, like, over and over and over again to, like, really finely, like, just really fine um, and then you just dip your uh, chicken into your egg and um, roll it around and just coat it really really good with the pork rinds and bake it in the oven for like 45 minutes on like 350 I think it comes out like just like you're eating fried chicken it's awesome my kids love it my husband loves it and it's really good so I think I'm gonna make that with some cauliflower mac you know cauliflower mash probably and some steamed broccoli and cheese. So that's going to be my eating for today. I haven't done the macros or anything yet. Um, I'll put a picture of my lunch just so you can see that. And I'll try to do some recording on my um, of my dinner. And at the very end of the day, I'll add a, my you know total carbs for the day. I um, I did want to say that I tried the uh, it's a ice cream, a low-carb ice cream yesterday. It was a birthday cake flavor. And it was really good. I think I'll maybe only try to have some maybe once a week because the sugar there's sugar alcohol in it, and it does mess me up. <laughs> but um, my son enjoyed it. He hasn't had ice cream in a while, and he was excited about that. But I just wanted to come by, say hi, and um, hopefully I'll see you all later tonight after I finish my dinner. Look who I got. Say hi. Say hi! Uh, I don't do YouTube, so stop recording me now. I don't like you. <laughs> Prepping the breading for my fried chicken. I just really crushed up the pork rinds really, really good. I just kind of roll over it with a rolling pin. It gets it to be like a really, really fine type of grainy type of consistency as you can kind of see there so this is how I like it um, and I thought I had regular pork rinds but I don't so I just got these uh, hot and spicy ones so I mean it's all I had in my cabinet so I'm gonna try it with this it might be like a buffalo type of flavor I'm hoping and I'm probably gonna have to do a whole bag but I will see okay I'll hit, get back on step two in a second. So off we go. Here's the chicken. I do leave the skin on for the added fat. I did put a little bit of a pink Himalayan salt along with some pepper. I got a phone call, but anyway, I am now um, coating the chicken. Like I said, you want to get like every single piece as well as you can. Looks like I will need more. And then flip it. 
same thing. Get a little shaky, shaky, shaky. Shake it. And then let's go lay it on here. I don't like how I left out a little bit there, so I'm just going to come back with just a bit. Press it. Okay. And I'm going to put these bit to bake at 350 for 45 minutes. But he is a crushing so we needed more, so we're crushing more. It's the Mexican wooden rolling stick. That's normally for tortillas, right? <laughs> so we don't eat those no more.